You know, you could probably say that taking dried beef and pounding it into that fluffy looking mixture is one of the most unusual techniques that you would find in any cuisine anywhere in the world. Got some friends that wanted to see how to do it, so I invited them over. But I thought I would put something adventurous with it as well. You know, most people would say cooking cactus is an unusual technique, but it's really pretty straightforward if you know what to do with the cactus paddles. They're really simple to work with. Grab one with a pair of tongs. You have to clean it of all of the spines, all of the nodes. So you go around the perimeter of that cactus. And then I always hold it with a pair of tongs and hold my knife perpendicular and scrape off all the nodes. You have to do this carefully and without too much pressure. You don't want to cut into the cactus. And when the cactus is completely clean, I'm going to cut it into about half inch pieces. Well, it doesn't take too long to clean a cactus paddle and dice it up like that. But if you happen to live anywhere near a Mexican grocery store, you can go into the produce section and usually you'll find the cactus already cleaned for you and diced up, which is what I'm going to use here. The cactus dish that I'm going to make for you, it's seasoned with dried guajillo chilies and roasted garlic and a little bit of roasted tomato. The first thing that we have to do is to prepare the guajillo chilies. I've got a little garlic dry roasting in the skillet until it's completely soft. And over kind of medium heat here, I'm going to toast guajillo chilies. They need to be cleaned first. I'm going to pull off the stem end and then just tear them open. And then you toast them in your skillet, pressing them down. You'll hear a little sizzle like that. And then flip them over. You'll notice a slight color change there. And after a few seconds more, when they become very aromatic, they're toasted and ready to go. I've got two more of them to clean here and toast. Okay, I'm going to tear these guys up and put them into the blender jar along with the roasted garlic. And the garlic has cooled off enough now that the papery skin just comes right off of the roasted cloves. And though I could start with fresh ripe tomatoes and roast them, I'm a huge fan of uh, the canned fire roasted tomatoes because they give me a lot of the flavor, but very easy to work with. I'm going to add about a half a can of the tomatoes to the blender, undrained. Put the top on and make a puree. And I'm going to start the pot for cooking the cactus. A little olive oil goes in there to warm. I'm going to slice an onion. The onions are going to go into the pan with the olive oil. And I'm going to cook them over medium to medium high until they begin to brown. We want this cooking to go pretty quickly because we don't want the onions to soften too much before they brown. And now I'm going to add the prepared cactus to it. Now here's where the magic happens. I'm gonna put the top on it and let that cook over about a medium heat for five minutes. What's gonna happen during that period is all the sticky stuff, the mucilaginous part of the cactus will just come out in the paint. You'll see. Now in that steamy environment, all of that undesirable sticky substance was all let out. But then as I stir it for the next few minutes, it'll all evaporate. Turning this dish into something that's really beautiful, light, and crunchy, almost like 
I'd say kind of like a green bean, but with a lemony kind of flavor to it. Scrape in tomato chili. Boy, I can smell that chili. This is going to take about 15 minutes or so to reduce to the consistency of tomato paste. About a half a cup of water. Turn down the temperature to medium low and let that simmer for a few minutes for all those flavors to come together beautifully. 